So this person who's supposed to be someone promoting health, right? You would think a registered dietitian would be talking about health and helping people improve their lives. How, th how does this person function in society? Pregnancy is nothing like having a fat gut. People ask me all the time if I'm pregnant. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Welcome back to the channel. Mm. Just sipping on some tea. Welcome, welcome back. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And before we get started, do your boy a solid. Smash that like button right now. You have no idea how much that helps. YouTube will distribute the video to a few more people that probably subscribe to the channel because we talk about issues that they don't wanna promote. This is the reality of the situation. YouTube wants to go full woke. They wanna promote mukbangs and blah, 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 all the disease and all the unhealthy crap, but we still have to expose this stuff. We got work to do, fam. We got work to do. So make sure you join us every day, but also, Subscribe, notification bell, but hit that like button right now. And if you love these posts, if you love the salty sack, you love the nuts on chin, trust me, check out the podcast channel, The Daily Swole. It's right here on YouTube. I go live every day. Myself, The Swole Fan, we cover posts like this, success stories. If you love forging pillars, you love nuts on chin, you're gonna wanna check out The Daily Swole podcast. It's all that combined, plus Ask Papa Swolio. We do questions live every day. It's awesome. Also, you can follow The Daily Swole on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Check that out. And for those of you that are ready to join The Swole Fam, check out swornormousx.com. Links in the description down below. Got free downloads, full programs, nutrition, meditation, full yoga studio. We have hundreds and thousands of meditation, yoga classes, a full kitchen recipe archive, thousands of recipes, and we add new content every single week. So it's unlike anything else that you've seen out there. Trust me, check it out, swornormousx.com. Because this channel is so offensive because I like to swear. I like to say the naughty words, but I like to talk about these issues that are actually affecting people in the real world. Now, you probably deal with this with your family, with your friends. If you deal with this at work, people giving you crap for bringing in your own food. I wanna see some stories, so drop that in the comments down below. How often you get crap at work when you're bringing in your own meals or when you turn down eating an extra, you know, going out for drinks and dessert when you know it's not actually something that's gonna benefit you in your life or you know you have addictions and you avoid those situations in that crappy environment. So a lot of you are dealing with this every single day. This type of mentality is a poison. This is the real virus that's going around. This is a real, real problem. And I covered this on the Daily Soul podcast recently, and this is one of the most ridiculous posts I have ever seen in my entire life, and I am really stoked to get into it because it's so bad. Check this out. This is from uh, Riley Laster, RD. So a registered dietitian. Now, let me clarify this. A registered dietitian on Instagram is literally something that you could probably pull out of a Cracker Jack box because the more doctors and RDs and whatever letters you wanna put after your name, the more of these jabronets and jabronis that I see. And I say jabronis, but it's really jabronets. I don't know why this is all women. I I'm just saying, I'm not a misogynist. I know a lot of you are like, he's a misogynist. You always talk about women. Find me a straight male that posts stuff like this. Find me one, share it with me. I would love to know because I would love to put some sack on their chin as well. So this person who's supposed to be someone promoting health, right? You would think a registered dietitian would be talking about health and helping people improve their lives. L let me just read this, okay? Pregnancy is such a trip. Okay, okay. Before we move any further, those of you that have children. I don't have kids, but uh, <laughs> you don't need to, to see this as a huge load of shit, okay? So mom's out there, dad's out there. I wanna see your comments down below, right? Pregnancy is such a trip. The same belly that people admire while it grows and stretches to house your baby will be the exact, will be the exact belly that people scrutinize when it's not flat enough to fit society's version of beauty after your baby is born. 
What in the actual fuck is this? What in the actual thunder fuck is this trash? Look at this caption. And today's feelings are valid as always. Oh, thank you, Riley, for validating my feelings. Now I can move on with my fucking day. All right, the same belly that people admire will be the exact belly that people scrutinize when it's not flat enough to fit society's version of beauty. It's a fucking baby. You're pregnant because you have a human being in your belly, you dumbass. Having a belly full of donuts and just extra, just fat, just extra human that's completely unnecessary, just floating around your gut is 100,000%, nothing even close to a pregnant belly of a woman that is about to conceive a human child. How is this, how'd this person make it this far in life? I'm assuming they're a grown adult. How did this person get an RD? How, how does this person function in society? Pregnancy is nothing like having a fat gut. What kind of world, what? There's nothing to say about this, but for me to yell and lose my mind. There's no intellectual way to break this down. There is none. This is asinine stupidity. This is absolute gunch. This is the chunder gunch of the internet. The same exact belly when people scrutinize, because if you have a pregnant gut and you're not pregnant, why do I, why do I even have to explain this? If you have a gut that makes you look pregnant and there's no baby in there, use fat. Use obese and you need to take care of your health. If you're having a human child, it's a completely different situation. It's a completely different situation. You cannot even come close to comparing the two. This makes no sense. Oh my God, no points. Society's version of beauty. Oh, but that, so you're, t you're telling me that a pregnant gut is amazing and beautiful and should be lauded the same way as a pregnant woman? This is one of the dumbest posts I've ever seen in my life. This is so stupid. This is just tip of the iceberg. It's all like that. I've covered so many posts from this account. I, I, I don't understand how someone can like grow up and develop and actually survive in society. Like how does this person function? This person pays taxes? This person drives a car. This person might be reproducing on their own. This person might be adding to the gene pool. Like this person exists. This is a human being that lives and breathes, that interacts online. Like if this doesn't breed more distrust of just the kind of crap that you see in the media and online, I, what can you trust anymore when you know there are humans like this? You're reading tons of posts from people with this level of IQ. We're talking double digit right here. This is really, Something else. I don't know. I, I I can't I can't rage on this enough. This is just the stupidest fucking thing I've seen in my life. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Ladies, ladies, those of you that have had kids, do you think it's the same if someone is obese versus having a child? Is it society's fault for not not glorifying an obese person? What? Because one, I, I I can't. My brain's not working anymore. Drop a comment down below. This is the stupidest thing I've seen in my, in my fucking life. We covered this the other day on the Daily Swole podcast. Make sure you check it out right here, uh, the podcast channel, The Daily Swole. You can also subscribe to The Daily Swole podcast over on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Join myself and The Swole Fan. We cover success stories, shit posts just like this. And um, it's a lot of fun. We take a lot of questions. So check that out. And for those of you that are ready to kick all this shit to the curb because it blows your mind apart. You have just IQ points dripping out your ears and you wanna put blinders on to all the bullshit that we've been just piling up from 2020 into 2021. You wanna block out the noise, blinders on, join the Swole Fam, cut out all the noise and the bullshit, go hard on your seven pillars. When you join the Swole Fam over at SwoleNormousX.com, links down below, you see that little thing in the corner right here, SwoleNormousX.com, we have everything that you need to crush, to improve, to help you focus on all seven pillars. Community, nutrition, training, recovery, mobility, mindfulness, and consistency. We give you all the tools for that. Thousands of classes, all streamed from your tablet, from your computer, from your TV, to your phone. You can do it anywhere. Full yoga studio, full meditation center, full kitchen, thousands of recipes, elimination diet, full programs. You can customize them, individualize them, seven minute workouts. We have virtual training sessions where you put your headphones on and I literally, take you through step-by-step step, my workouts. You literally train with me. It's like being with me in the gym. It's awesome. SoulNormousX.com. Check it out down below. Don't look pregnant unless you're pregnant. I, I can't. Drop a comment down below. Hit the like button, all that stuff. I'll see you real soon for some more nuts in your chin. Peace the fa out.
People ask me all the time if I'm pregnant. All the time. You know why? Because these big juicy milk bags looks like I'm lactating. Look at those big old titties. Might as well be pregnant. Mmm. Pregnant with emotion. Ooh, if that doesn't make you emotional, I don't know what does. Mm, mm, mm. Look at those big floppy titties. You like that shit. You like that shit. I know you love that sweet shit. Mm, look at that peppermint tip. Damn, I'm fine as fuck. Hells yeah. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. I done public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, I'm a streets go. Clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a rented crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to 